Hey everybody, welcome back to Quantum Break. We are going to go into Act 3 Part 1 today, which is the research facility. And there are loads of collectibles in this one, so I don't know how big it's going to be. We're going to be presumably captured, because Jack hadn't escaped in the episode 2 bit, but Liam and that Liam and Fiona have, and they're on the run. So I don't know if we'll encounter them, which would be quite cool. I'm assuming Beth is maybe meant to come in and save us, or release us or something maybe as part of the plan of how we're gonna get out and then we're gonna try and capture Dr. Admiral so let's see how successfully this uh, goes because I have no idea right now right I'm gonna just restart I don't think we went into it at all did we because we just literally came back here afterwards but I'm gonna just restart it just to make sure just in case let's do this previously on quantum break <laughs> Oh. Ah! Come back, God damn it! I'm actually gonna watch the previous this ah! just in case it true like makes me think of anything that yeah. I think it's time you tell me what you know. I know your brother built the one thing that can stop the fracture. The second time machine. No, 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 no. What? God damn it! We can't fix the machine. But I might know somebody who can. Sophia Amaral. The monarch scientist. She'll be at the Monarch Gala tonight, but security's airtight. She'll be nearly impossible to get to. Unless I have an invite. Martin, I'm afraid you're gonna have to cover for me at the speech tonight. All right. Jack and I have a lot of catching up to do. Yeah. Yeah. Did I read, did I watch? Serene. Diary. The new one. Security was tight at the Monarch Gala. You took quite a risk walking into the lion's den. If we were going to kidnap Dr. Amaral, then we needed to do it from the inside. Beth Wilder. You were quick to trust her. We had common interests. Is that all you So have? she is coming for us. That's all we needed. Well, I was starting to think seeing a pretty lady like you is too much to hope for. <laughs> Why don't you keep your mouth shut while we get some privacy before we begin? How about you get me out of this chair? Ah, uh, uh, uh. stop squirming. And you're gonna need this. Oh. I was gonna say, I wonder if, I assume the handcuffs he had on wouldn't affect his powers. So could he not have used them somehow to escape? Then all he has is freezing and a big boom, which won't help with handcuffs. If you're like behind your back, you know? I appreciate it. Mm. Sure. Mm. <laughs> so where are we going? Testing or? What's it look like out there? I assume there's nothing in here. I think I you're secure. Go. Everyone's concentrating on the party. So far your crazy plan's working. So we've got testing. And Dr. Emeril? Main lobby's that way. Testing B1, her. testing B2. She's either at the party or at her office at the R&D facility here on the island. She... I'll scout out the party. She took so to you hat. can assist her saying, well, I break into a high security you? installation. It's like you got this all figured out. I'll save you a cocktail waiting. Oh, well, in that case... Am I going with you that way or through those doors? What's that way? My cover isn't going to survive tonight, but it'll last Definitely a Definitely don't want to go that way, right? So you can't walk out the front door with me. This is the quickest way to the R&D facility. This is an impressive door. I disabled the security at the back door, but there'll be guards. Contact me when you're clear, okay? And Jack, you know what's at stake here. This can't be about revenge. Okay. I'm not here for Paul. Yet. Unless he comes across our path while we're escaping. All right, uh, you don't have anything else to say, do you? No prompt, so I assume not. This place is cool. Let's do this. Shut us in. I wonder if we will come across. Yeah, okay, they'll be in a different. Hey, he's escaping. Well, that. LB to ru time rush. Hold it. Sorry. Uh... Ooh. 
That's new, right? I couldn't do that before. During time rush, press B to form a melee takedown. Oh, uh, cool! <laughs> that was awesome! That's one thing I was thinking. I haven't really had any melee stuff to play around Damn. with. That this will one. hurt in the morning. I know that I can sort of do a little bit of a. My powers thing. are growing. Oops. Sorry, mate. I was learning to control them better. That felt good. Oh, the fireworks! So, what does this do? Oh, that opened that. Uh, I see. It's gonna help me practice. Who the hell designs these doors? It's gonna help me practice. Uh, let's just check with something else okay, in here. Okay, gonna have to move that. faster to get through. Because that's just, just the sort of sneaky thing they do. Okay, so I press that, and then we're gonna time rush through. How long does that last? Okay, I've got a countdown thing there. Is that bad guys? Why did it make that noise? <laughs> Paranoia. Oh, look at that cool picture. It's fair. Who's painting all these? Very sci-fi and very monarch. Something tells me it wasn't commissioned by them, though. No. That's Beth, right? Looks like Beth. Bridge. Um. Uh -oh. Oh, it's just a lighthouse. I, thought, I wasn't sure if that was a searchlight. Well, I can't watch the fireworks. I was going to say, it's a shame I can't see them, but then they came up. I love fireworks. Um, okay. Let's say then, I guess. Hey, Beth, I'm clear. What's next? National Park Service. I see a radar tower up ahead soon. Let me know when you get inside. All right. <sighs> I was wondering what that was. I'm gonna have to time run over there, aren't I? The next thing. Oh crap. Oh no, that might be safe. Ah, I broke it! Can't save anymore! <laughs> Can I just destroy this thing? Well, you could have warned me about that one, Beth. Oh, I can use it. Do I need to use it? I totally almost died. There are things. Is that go. deactivated? I was about to say. <laughs> Let's turn that off, shall we? <laughs> Is that which guns that on? Okay, so I've got. Oh, it's on my heavy gun slot where my shotgun usually goes. Um. That's a lot of cronons in this episode. Or oh, part, I suppose. Is there anything up there? No. Um, okay, let me just have a quick look to see if that was my first thing. I don't, oops, think I've missed anything yet. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Okay, it didn't seem like there would be a place to find more stuff outside of- Okay, wait, 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 how wait, am I getting to that radar tower? Let me just- uh, Up you go look first before we do that you want me to go that way yeah is there something else up here ah i see can i do that while i'm up here or we're not i'm gonna have to time burst up here aren't i can i do it a little bit closer at least That's the closest I can get. Can I run normally? Something tells me no. I can probably do that across that bit, right. at least. <laughs> hey, it was just our people there. We can spin it however we want. Call it an accident. Don't know why I'm whispering. They can't hear me. Yeah. He might as well take the blame for the mess he made. I didn't make any mess. I like that you can see the bridge come back up when you're in that view. Um, I might want to try and time burst at them. Enemy spotted! Because I want to... Oh! You went for a different one. That wasn't the one I wanted to go for. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> yeah, that gun 
hurts, huh? <laughs> that was the turret one, I think. Um, Time felt broken here. I can read this, can I? Gull Island sign, Riverport Coastal Defenses. Commissioned in 1940, completed in September 1942. American faced the reality of World War One. In addition to the fortifications and artillery, the whole cannon there. felt unstuck in time. So that's the. Uh, it's not coastal defenses in the sea wall. It's coastal defenses in, in a, a big cannon. That's cool. Seventeen narrative objects. That's a lot of objects. I keep thinking I can interact with um, generators. What's this? Timeline of the old cannon felt loose. Ah. I could shift it around. Will that not just fall, though? Back down again in a minute. Smart place to aim the cannon, guys. Where's the thing? Like. Don't get there. Okay. Right there. Quicker next time. No, no, it's fine. I'm just, I'm just exploring. I wasn't trying to do it quick. I was just <laughs> wondering how the heck I get to this. The little radar thing is very helpful. I appreciate that a lot. Right, so. Is there. I think there was another. There's one more thing nearby in this section before we're not going to find anything for a little while. Hopefully it's over there. Okay. So this <coughs> is quite cool. I really like this um like the building the cannon thing. It's cool. I'm not sure I think running along is such a good idea. I've been thinking. Monarch projections say these stutters are getting more frequent. They do. If one hits while we're grabbing Dr. Amaral. You'll be frozen. Yeah, I know. It's a risk. Monarch specialist troopers have the stutterproof gear. I bet Dr. Amaral would have that in her office too. I'll keep an eye yes. out. See if I grab it for you. Okay, so that should be... Yeah. Everything for a little while. And we've got a little bit of a gap before we find some more stuff. Which means I'm probably going to have a big fight in here. Serene that with Jason Baca. Yeah, I heard he took a personal interest in it. Somebody said it's because they both got think they're gonna be close enough to that to get hit by if it blows up. I heard it was something personal going up there. Maybe I should have tried to oh, this. Is that a Cronin barrel or an exploded barrel? Okay, there are snipers! Oh, okay, good tonight. I assume that meant that that was I went down. <laughs> I don't want to get up while there's a sniper up there, man. That other guy go. He's running around over there. It's fine. It's my big boom back, yeah. Because I want to use that to take out that guy. If I can. Without the other one killing me. Hook! Okay. Reload. <laughs> I kicked the hood in this here, did I? Hmm. Um, yeah, that guy. Too bad. 
I don't think they can come down anywhere other than where I currently am. So, oh, it wasn't even my light gun. That was fun. Nah, don't get round. Oh. I'm not sure if there's gonna be more guys further up or not. I don't wanna come out cover too much. Okay, okay. cool. That's the last one. For the now. Jack, I've disabled security and unlocked the gates leading to the tower. I'll give them why. Let me know when you get there. Thanks, Beth. Um so I'm fairly safe to run around this bit now. To the radar tower. I kinda miss what I'm doing at the radar tower. I thought I'd forgotten. Anyway. <laughs> Not the best, but never mind. So I've got Maybe I should get an SMG. Although that's on that one, isn't it? Okay. Not that one. Next stop the radar tower. Uh, I don't think it really makes much difference what I've got currently. To be honest. Assault rifle ammo. What one am I on? I do like. I think I prefer the assault rifle. The things. Uh, I would like a shotgun though. Was I supposed to have come up here whilst fighting? Because there was no way I was leaving my little hidey hole. <laughs> I was quite happy where I was. Can I get more of this? No. It's a shame. Um. It wants me to go that way. So if I. Great, another one. Where was that? I heard it, I didn't see it. I don't know where it is. Oh, there. I see it now. <laughs> that means I can get some more ammo, though, so that's good. Shotgun. One foot in front of another. I rush for <laughs> that. That's all I had to do. 100 meters. Um, I don't want to run past that barrel. I think that's gonna get me killed. <laughs> so I might just, I might just shoot that barrel. Can I not shoot without standing up? Just to play it safe. Mm, enough of you. Stop that. God. Kinda want it, but how much shotgun did that give me? I got ten shots all together. I do like a shotgun, so I kinda feel like I need it. <laughs> Means there's probably gonna be some of those big tanky guys coming along. Beth? I'm at the radar tower. Where's the lab? Below your feet. It's all top secret. The elevator inside will take you down. Whoa, seriously? What is this, a Bond villain lair? You have no idea. Just don't fall Radio. into the shark tank. To the shark tank? Oh. Is that a stutter happening? Hello, Fuck. Report. This is Teresa Sedmak. Happy to spend this fine evening with you good folks. We're gonna have a good time. If you're keeping an eye on the in crowd, you know we're not going to be the only ones. The very exciting, very exclusive Monarch Gala is tonight at their beautiful mansion on Gull Island. Of course, the event's invite only, and when they say exclusive, they really mean it. Word is even confirmed A-listers have had a lot of trouble securing an invitation. Predictably, rumors are already circulating. Some people are saying that this is not just a party that there might be an important announcement about Monarch's future coming up. Lots of people are anxious to get in on the ground floor on whatever the new thing, if there is one, might be. It's no secret that when Monarch Solutions makes a move, it pays off. Well, I suppose we'll just have to wait and see. You'll hear about it as soon as I do, listeners. In the meantime, those of us with a view of the river will be able to enjoy the fireworks show, which is bound to be spectacular. Okay, uh, where are these collectibles that are chirping at me? There's one in there. How the heck do I get in there? Uh, 
not from out here, I don't think. Must have to drop down from somewhere the other way. Okay, and there's one over here somewhere. Do I need to worry about these security cameras? Oh, look, there's a stairway over there. Can I have the helicopter? Something tells me no, but it'd be nice. I like a helicopter? I wonder if we'll get loads of um, intel and stuff when we go, if we get to the research facility, because that would make sense. Which bit am I supposed to be going in? Okay. That is where I don't want to go then. I want this. I should probably have a look to see what upgrades I can do now, because nice. I am... got a few. What can we do? Um, time vision. How many points do I got? Five. So that I can't afford. Got all of those. Oh, we got time rush as well now as an optional thing. Um, and blast. Which one was the blast? Oh, that's the. Why did I not upgrade that? That's my favorite. I like to blow them up. Um, so increase increase radius down that would be good how many points is that six a lot um increase focus time oh time rush isn't what i'm thinking of take downs oh no time rush is what i was thinking of because that was the is it Focus time. Yeah, because of the focus thing is I have not done yet, have I? I've obviously had dodges, but not the rush thing. Just three points. Take downs pressing B1 near an enemy during rush time. Drain less chrono impact energy. Hmm. Tempting. Oops. I actually wanted that. <laughs> Press the wrong button. <laughs> Gimme. I want this. Oh, do I not have enough points? Was I looking at the wrong thing? I was looking at okay. Damn it. Okay, so in that case, we'll go for this. Focus time will last even longer. Longer. Oh, maybe. What was it I was just looking at? I was like, oh, I want that blast radius. Uh, twenty-five percent discovered things. Oh, we're near the ripple. Okay, keep an eye out. We've got two things. One's a ripple. We want to find that. So I think we've got everything out here. Hopefully. Radar tower. Do you have a ripple for me? Oh, that's one of the things. Good evening. Oh. You weren't expecting somebody this handsome, I know. Oh, this Unfortunately, is a Unfortunately, Mr. Serene <laughs> is preoccupied with as many duties necessary to assure we maintain control over our path forward. And that's what tonight is about. The future. We all knew this day was coming, even if many of you out there aren't sure what it means. We're entering a new phase in our operation. One that presents new risks and new demands. One that requires this. The Cronon Field Regulator, or CFR. Now, many of you know that this device has been the source of our Cronon research since 2010. So but what only a select few you know, quite public is that then. this device is at the center of Monarch's plans to Except navigate we knew through about the dangers of the future. I thought because we knew Paul. This device. Everybody get down! So who did shoot? Because that wouldn't have been Beth, because she was looking for. Oh, Jesus, what the hell's that I about? feel like that's something Hatch has set up to try and. Um, I don't know what, but for some reason I think feel like that's a hatch thing. Did this not have an interaction thing a minute ago? Oh, maybe it was because it was for that, so I could have actually watched it. Um, okay. I feel like my ripple should be here somewhere. So I just want to double check to make sure that I don't miss it. <laughs> the ripples are important. Yeah, it should be imminent. Where are you, ripple? Something with a question mark on it. Is 
there's nothing, definitely nothing out here before I go down there. Just a double, double, double check. Can't see anything on the ceiling. All right, down we go. Hey, Beth. So we're going Headed down into the labs. Okay. A bit of confusion here at the party. Serene's right hand man's on stage. It was supposed to be Serene. Yeah, he came to see yeah. me. I think Paul was too busy trying to have a heart to heart with me to make it. That's cool that they made mention that. I wonder what would happen if. So I wonder if it was the other way around and I'd chosen so that Paul would have gone on the stage. Obviously, he potentially still got shot at. But if Martin would have left or if she would have taken Martin out, because he would have potentially been in the room with me. Jack! Oh crap. Ah, yeah. Am I even shooting them? I think so. Oh, jeez. Ah. I'm panicking. <laughs> fail, fail. Jesus. How do I get out? Okay. Let me out. Hey. Okay. Oh, jeez. Is there going to be a ripple in this bit? Um, it's a pretty big stutter. Stutter? <gasps> yeah. <laughs> Don't go into those. Knock that guy out. Oh. Uh. Can I not shoot him? Oh, rude. Dr. Amaral's office. Looks like that's one level up. Okay. Um, so, is that not going to be beyond my, that's beyond my thing. That means we think I've missed the, the thing. How could I have missed it though? Literally my only option was to go down the stairs. Maybe it's in here. You missed it, but it was like. Can I go back up? I don't think there's anything down here. Well, that's frustrating. If it's. How? I double dribble checked! Dang it. Give me your gun. Your gun? <laughs> uh. Yeah, let's not get squished by that, shall we? Are you guys frozen? You're frozen. Which way am I meant to be going? That way. So, what's this way? A bit nervous about running around the- Hostile! Go in case them, they unfreeze! Just because they- I can't shoot them when they unfree- they freeze again. That's not fair. That makes no sense. It was some kind of surveillance drone. Knowing that Monarch had eyes in the sky made me a little uneasy. Okay, that's not what I want though. Um, so there are. Which way am I supposed to be going for the mission? That way. Okay, that's fine. Stuff to look at, so. We might as well look at it. I don't know if I missed the Are you sure, sure this can't be traced to us? Impossible. Impossible. I've adjusted, I've adjusted the, flight the flight controls, controls so, the so the drone will, will crash, crash into, into the villa on your order. order. I'll make sure, I'll make sure that Sophia's in position when the time is right. right. Wait for my call. Is he trying to take out Sophia? Because we know he doesn't like her. <laughs> I don't trust any of these people not to come back alive right now. Six. Um. I obviously have to go around that way for that one. I feel like they're all gonna just keep unfreezing and shooting me, but I don't know if that was a scripted thing that they did that. What the hell is this? When I uh <sighs> what is that? It's like I'm drained. So we don't wanna stay in this 
Prana dampeners take away your powers. Disable them or leave the area for it to... Oh. You stop that. They... The device drained my powers. We refer to it as a chronon dampener. Yeah, well, it was a pain in the ass. <laughs> Um, I guess it would make sense if they're trying to stop Chronon, the effect of the Chronon, like, stutters and stuff, but it obviously hasn't stopped the stutters, so not really sure. Um, lifeboat protocol, that's really long. Is it just a... So, to lifeboat maintenance, okay. We'll have to read this one. Um, greeting, greetings lifeboat personnel. Uh, the day has co finally come to commence phase three of our plan. Tonight I'll be hosting a guard to celebrate the monumental achievement to which you are all invited. By now you have likely heard the events that took place earlier today at Riverport University. Our path forward has not been impacted by this minor setback. We are ready for what comes next. Your part in this journey has not be yet begun, but the onset of the fra uh, fracture will bring with it new challenges that are worth reiterating. I am not able to go over many of these issues in detail at tonight's gala because many guests will not have knowledge of the lifeboat protocol. As such, I am including a high-level document outlining key points worth addressing. Path forward, our journey ahead, lifeboat protocol, status of the survival program, shifters, dangers awaiting us at the end of time, are and detour our future work. So I wonder if that's what was hunting him, not the woman or the she he mentioned, but the other things. Were they shifters then? Like Dr. Kim. Path forward. When you were first chosen for the lifeboat protocol, you were sent a package illustrating in great detail several events that would come to pass. It was stressed that these events were unavoidable. Many of you were reluctant to believe this, but every single one of those events has since occurred, including to our great regret the onset of the fracture. This provides empirical evidence of my knowledge and understanding of the future, and I trust it has dispelled your doubts. No future event that I have experienced can ever be be prevented. This includes the end of time. It cannot be avoided. However, it can be survived. Survival in the end of time has been the primary mission of Monarch Solutions since its inception. Your loyalty to this cause will prove invaluable as we move forward. I know this isn't easy, but in the face of immutable facts, sacrifices must be made in the name of our survival. From this point forward, we will have to start making those sacrifices at a rapid pace. While we do know the exact date and time at which you complete be complete. End of time will occur. Our so they do know when it will happen. Our knowledge about the escalation in stutters and time anomalies leading to it is less than complete. We do, however, know that it will be dangerous. For the first time in 17 years, we are entering a phase of the relative unknown. Adjustments will need to be made along the way, both in response to the effects of the fracture's progress and to the less cosmic events that we will find ourselves in. We ask your patience in this trying period. Lifeboat protocol. You are the chosen few who will survive the end of time. When time stops, your journey will continue in the safety of the lifeboat. The chronon particle harvesting operation is nearing completion. The lifeboat has been confirmed to be able to run solely on that chronon power as regulated by the chronon field regulator. Oh. Current data indicates that the lifeboat will remain sustainable for approximately 50 years. Subjective years, of course, as no time at all will pass outside the lifeboat. Given this preliminary research we have achieved using CFR, we estimate that it will take at least two subjective decades for the lifeboat team to discover a permanent solution for the end of time. Given the nature of the problem, this is of course highly speculative, uh, and the solution could prove to be more elusive than we're hoping. However, by the time the lifeboat protocol is activated, we are confident that we will be able to increase our chronic particles reserves and their sustainability to a point where we have a runtime of upwards of 50, uh, 200 years. Or to put it another way, if there is a solution to the end of time, I'm 100% confident that the lifeboat team will have the necessary time to discover it. Shifters. We briefed you all on the danger of chronon disrupted wave function subjects, or what we're now being refer now referring to as shifters. Uh, we estimate that they will begin to emerge within stutters only as the end of time nears. The lifeboat has been tested and we can say with absolute certainty that the stutter proof technology will protect the lifeboat from shifters. Using a living sample in Dr. Kim's lab, we have proven that shifters cannot manifest without, without the presence of a stutter. Am I going to have to fight these things at some point? We will make sure that you are transported to the safety of the lifeboat before they arrive. Floor 3 of the lifeboat has been built to house the Monarch Solutions Striker and Juggernaut squads, a paramilitary 
unit trained to combat shifters at the end of time. Their presence will likely not concern you. However, in the event of travel, that travel outside the safety of life but proves to be necessary, for any reason, the striker teams have been trained to navigate the end time and successfully eliminate shifters. R&D tour. Tonight we will be sending you VIP passes for the gala, which will permit entry into our high security R&D facility on Gull Island. Many of you are, of course, already intimately familiar with these areas, given your technological and scientific expertise. But those who aren't will undoubtedly find it interesting. You're welcome to join the tour to view various pieces of tech that Monarch has developed during Phase 2 to prepare for our journey forward. We welcome you to take this opportunity to see for yourself that every development necessary for the lifeboat protocol is completely on schedule. Dedication to our cause will assure our survival. Dark times are coming, but you are the light at the end of the tunnel. You are humanity's salvation and hope. Together we will survive. I'm not really sure what the point is. Because it's all good and well saying, oh, you know, a few of them will survive. But for what purpose, if there's no way to fix time ending? They're just going to forever be stuck in this lifeboat, even if they do manage to sort it out, you know? Um, what's the point? Uh, theorized to exist in a state of quantum superposition, surrounded by a highly dangerous distortion field, highly resistant to injury, conventional weapons useless, populate to the end of time, can only exist in zero state, inside stutters, appearances likely once fracture appearances likely once fracture progresses as a result shifters cannot enter stutter proofed areas so that's why they've got that machine then to try and prevent these shifters from being able to attack people keep your distance if not aggressive do not provoke avoid confrontation seek cover inside stutter proofing maintain stutter proofing at all costs if forced to engage assemble superior numbers with chronon tech weapons no heroics I don't have any of that, so, uh, that's not ideal. How do I get out to that thing that's over there? Um, I didn't miss a corridor back that way, did I? How do I get, no, how do I get, yeah, I want, I want my thing. I want out there. How do I get there? There was, was there? That. Ah. How do I get that? I can't freeze this one because this one's not going. Although there's a door at the other end, so maybe I can actually come back that way. It's just further around than it looks. Um, so I know now I've missed my bloody... I don't understand where that was. It was I had to have been in the... that place but I didn't see anything that I could have interacted with so I don't understand that one but I'll have to replay this because I can't miss the ribble that's the important bit all right there's definitely not door open in there so it must be through this bit that was just back that way yeah okay I gotta get to Dr. Amaral's office. When Paul visited me in that cell, he said oh, time was a hello. closed loop. I believe the fracture couldn't be fixed. <laughs> Seeing the scale of that facility made me wonder. You do not have any more of the rush Did thing. Me? Yep. Oh, go ahead. What was it all for? Fucking <laughs> <laughs> crap. I don't have that crap. Is that guy dead? I'll show what I did there. The chart showed that all of Monarch's major technological advancements started in 2010. Around the same time that something else happened. Yeah, I was gonna say that's zero. when. So they had to maybe wait until then to actually get. start making stuff because that's when the first Cronin stuff became available. So then they could do it because before that they wouldn't have had any Cronin to farm to make their tech. Right? Okay. Got a bit of a gap, supposedly, now. Um, how many things did I have? I think available three. I'll wait until I get it to six, I think. I'm really annoyed about that. Um, thingy. Which way am I supposed to be going? Oh, all that stuff. It's a 
can't see where I've got to go then, is it? Toilets. <laughs> I know it's upstairs, but... Uh... Wait. What is this room? Negative pressure. What does that say? Uh-oh. They're not frozen. Oh no. Is that a juggernaut? That is. Yeah. Awesome. That's not how you hold that gun, mate. <laughs> what the fuck is that thing? I'm the juggernaut. Ooh, crap. Oh, did I not do the... Why didn't he do the thing? I wanted to do the... Oh, because it's still recovering. Yeah. Uh, That's fine. I thought I had... D -d Does it not recover in between cutscenes, then? My powers. We refer to it as a chronon damp. Do I still have the stuff that I had? Do I have to collect it again? No, that's fine. What the fuck is that thing? Oh, my stuff's on cooldown. <laughs> that didn't give me, like, even hardly a second to do anything. Was that just because the grenade, or did somebody actually genuinely shoot me? <laughs> I was like, no chance! What the fuck is that thing? I want to get that guy too, but I don't think that's going to work. <laughs> get down! Whoa. Who's even, like, oh, it's just, like, explosive rounds and stuff. Crap. Absolutely gonna die. I got a shield. Do I have another shield? I don't have another shield. Oh, that's not gonna work on it. Um. Ow. I don't actually genuinely know what the heck to do with this guy. Oh. I honestly don't know how to deal with this guy. I don't like explosive rounds. I've definitely got to get rid of the other guys. What the fuck is that thing? Shoot her in the back. Stressful. I don't know if I'm shooting the right bit anymore. Let me do 
them. certainly got my heart up, I can tell you that. Whew. Okay. You officially suck. Which way is Amaron's office? That way. I want to see what this is, though. Oh, hello. Uh, do I want that? Why do I want that? Oh, I can get in it. Oh, made it. <laughs> Might be able to get out from here. Oh, I see. Ow. You want me to jump across there? I probably should have jumped off before that happened, shouldn't I? <laughs> yeah, I should have done. Okay. Oh, I probably could have just still done it though. Let's try that again. So I just want to jump off when I get to the top, basically, don't I? Oh, that was. Um, do you think there's going to be anything in here to collect, other than what we've already... Anything, I suppose. Um... <coughs> I don't want to fall off. I'm very conscious of the fact that I could easily stumble off the edge here. Actually have to jump across that gap? That's way too big, surely. I cannot jump that far. There's no way. There's no way I can jump that far. I'm absolutely going to fall down if I try this, but I don't see any other option except to try this. Okay, I can jump that far. I can't jump that far though, surely that's even further. <sighs> Why do they gotta make it so it's so awkward to get back up here if I fall off? Okay, run in a straight line please. Okay, he's a lot more agile than I gave him credit for. <laughs> Alan Wake would have splattered on the floor in a heartbeat. He would never have even made that first jump across to, from the thick edge. I'm guessing this isn't the usual employee route. No. What's with the... Oh, it's in the other room. Okay. They all the orange stuff. Um... Over there? There's nothing back that way that I can see, so... Okay, one more jump, Jack. Okay, two jumps, because there's a, one over there too. But this is like... One of the bigger jumps. <laughs> oh no! Oh no, I did it. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Start to prove zone beyond this wall. If I fail this last time, I'm gonna really piss myself. <laughs> okay, that was a checkpoint. All sorts of funny noises going on. These guys don't even know. Dr. Amaral's office must be close. Freeze that. Uh oh. Why am I getting all. What was that about? Um, okay, so this is all the stuff. This must be... No alarms. Looks like nobody here knows about the mess um, I made on the way in. Nice job, Beth. I'm social. Don't use the radio tower entrance as a smoking area. Please turn all used cups to the kitchen. Um... So, do I want to look up here and down there, and then I guess that'll be it for this episode. Is that? Yeah, I think... 
Just ignore that guy and read this because uh, I feel like we're a bit pressed for time now. Um, Gala speech. Paul Serena has become preoccupied with the appearance of Jack Joyce. He has put aside the engagements or his engagements for tonight's gala in order to focus on some feeble attempt to convert Jack to our cause. This distraction presents us with a perfect opportunity to push our agenda. Tonight we send Monarch into a state of chaos. Tonight we ensure Paul Serena's downfall. So he's sending this to Ogawa, who is the one interviewing us. I have managed to convince Paul to allow me to deliver the gala speech on his behalf, creating the perfect cover. Steps are as follows. Gala shooting. I will be delivering Paul's speech at the gala very soon. I have arranged for an inside resource to fire shots in my direction from a vantage point halfway through the speech, narrowly missing me on stage. Called it. Uh, this will sh throw the gala into pandemonium and destabilize Monarch to a point where Paul's authority and control over the situation will be called into question. More immediately, it will force Monarch to initiate security measures that will lead to Sophia and Meryl being locked into a nearby Monarch villa for her protection. Drone sabotage. Stetson will recalibrate Drone A7's flight pattern and cause it to crash directly into the villa, killing Sophia and Meryl, Am 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 and therefore removing his only means to developing the treatments necessary for his sickness. Treatment lab demolition. In the aftermath of Amaral's death, I will head an investigation that will allow me to gain access to Dr. Kim's lab, where the entirety of Paul's treatment are kept. Demolition charges will be planted and every single treatment will be destroyed. With no further treatments forthcoming, Paul will be rendered helpless. With the stutters happening more and more often, I predict that Paul's sickness will take hold within six hours of these events. Only then will we make our final move. Ooh, what is his final move? Why is he suddenly turning on Monarch? Or I say suddenly, he's probably been um, plotting this for quite some time. <laughs> Oops. Unlucky, mate. <laughs> I like how the slow down talk. <laughs> They're still moving slightly, apparently. Yeah, sorry, mate. Your reports are doomed. From Fiona to Beth. Joyce in custody. Uh, oh, this is reported. Why? So let's read the first one. Uh, to Beth from Fiona. 6.32 p.m. I just got word that Jack Joyce is in Monarch custody, walked right into the mansion on Gull Island and gave himself up. What the hell are you two up to? If you want my help from the inside, then I need to know what's going on. Uh, yeah, oops. I'm sure you noticed that things didn't go exactly according to plan at Ground Zero. Seems like a running thing tonight. Can't go into details now, but we found something that I believe is the key to retrieving the countermeasure. The solution is inside, but we need to kidnap Sophia and Meryl in order to get it done. Uh, to work, rather. Uh, Jack gave himself up as part of the plan to get him inside. I'm on my way to release him so that he can get to Amaral, a poor man's Trojan horse. Desperate times, desperate measures. What's your status? Any updates on Dr. Kim Lead? We may need your help from the inside to pull us off. Any chance you can lower security in and around the R&D facility? And the owner said, Our plans might actually overlap for once. I'm going to attempt to access Dr. Kim's lab tonight during the gala to find out if you knew about the countermeasure. I still think that's our strongest lead. However, if I get, if I get inside, I should be able to shut down some of the security measures from the inside. The problem is that getting inside that lab might prove to be a long shot. Couldn't get hold of our Amaral's key card, so I've resorted to shame splurting in order to find a means in. I'm going to the girl that's Charlie Wincott's date in hopes that he can get me inside. That's if I can hold back from punching out the douche for that long. It considers the test of restraint. Ah, oh, poor Charlie. I know that you think Jack is the key to obtaining a countermeasure, but evidence is really stacking up that Dr. Kim knew something about the device. All of the research he did in the lab is classified they're hiding something big there i'll let you know what i find i'd warn you that your plan on the island sounds reckless but i'm sure you're fully aware you're fully aware keep in mind that the minute dr amaral goes missing the entirety of monarch is going to be hunting you down she's the only thing keeping serena alive he won't let that go her go without a fight to keep safe so she thought he the classified stuff was because of the countermeasure but it was actually because he got turned into a shifter. Is that Amaral's office up there? I don't want to go near that, just in case. I'm gonna see if I can head down and get the bits that are down there first. Pick up a home or an Oh, there's two Jacobs.
Do they know about the uh, program then? Right, what's this one? Uh, the Time Machine, from Sophia to Monarch Team Leads. Um, hello, I have just been informed that the Time Machine call we obtained from the University has reached Monarch HQ safely and is currently being installed into the new Time Machine corridor system we have constructed there. As you know, the core of the Time Machine is the Time Machine. What? The corridor around it is merely the user- oh, user- <laughs> I was gonna say, well, uh, um, this means, of course, that once the installation work is complete, we have effectively moved the time narrative from the university into Monarch HQ. That said, we don't intend to use it. I was wondering why they had taken it. Let me repeat that. There are no current plans to use the machine. We are not sure how safe it would be to use, even uh, given that its initial activation has caused the fracture. I personally believe that now that the core has been activated, the use would be safe, but make no mistake, this is a hypothesis, not a proven fact. We know that the machine taps into the Universal Mayor Joyce field and somehow that connection has caused the fracture in the field, apparently because of a misconfiguration. We are looking into the specifics, but until we know for sure, it would be irresponsible to use the machine. However, having it in place gives us a degree of control. It allows us in an emergency to travel backwards, although we obviously can go no further than to the time of its activation last night, or forwards as might be required. Obviously being fully secured at the building's restricted area of the top floor also means that nobody else can get can use the machine. I have to reiterate the only person who may authorise the use of the time machine is Paul Serene. I do not have that authority. Martin Hatch does not have that authority. The only person who does is Mr Serene. He takes this issue very seriously and I strongly suggest you do the same. You know what? I'm going to be really annoyed if the only collectible I haven't got at the end of this is my bloody ripple. <laughs> I have a feeling that might be the case. Uh, from Charlie to Fiona. What's up, girl? Um, let's see where this starts. So it starts from Fiona to Charlie on the 8th of October. Uh, so I had a dream about you last night. It wasn't anything bad, don't worry, but it was pretty weird. Let's just say that if you have second mouth hidden under your arm that keeps on insisting the international stock market's being controlled by the Pittsburgh Steelers, this would be a really good time to tell me. I mean, I don't usually have premonitions or anything, I don't believe in that crap, but just the same. I'd hate for that one to turn out to be true. Oh, and also that mouth eats nothing but sausages, real chompy chomp style, so you know there's probably nothing Freudian happening there. Just wanted you to know, what are you up to? And he said, Jesus child. Oh no, oh no, Charlie said, sorry. Charlie said that to Fiona. I had it in my head, it was the other way around. Uh, Jesus Charlie, I can tell that you're a man of great sophistication. Did you major in smooth talk or actually, hey, speaking of education, I heard rumors about that op coming up at the university. I know you know because you always know what, about that sort of stuff. It sounds pretty serious. What the hell is all that about? Charlie said, well, as far as the university thing goes, I uh, can't really talk about that. I mean, yeah, obviously I know, but uh, I'm like the first person they talk to about something like that. But it's classified. I sure as hell wouldn't put that down in an email, so maybe you should just come down and talk to me, you know. I was free to talk about it, which I'm obviously not. Bring food. Seriously, I can't talk about it. I don't even want to know how you know about it. But you should still bring me food, not sausages. Don't make this weird. <laughs> um, okay, I thought there was something else. It's a bit, but apparently not. So we can see. Go in that bit, I assume. Nothing stopping us. So what is this? Is this where the chrono gear is? No, these are just weapons. Guns made to operate in a stutter. Paul had clear priorities. The time ends. Oh, guns is don't. that why I can't shoot people when the stu there's a stutter going on? Because my guns physically don't work. Can I take some of their guns, please? I think that would be a good idea. Seems sensible to me to uh, do that. Yay! Got all the crayons. What do we got here? Tasty crayon. Upgrade available. Uh, so we've got you guys. It was technology that allowed people to move inside a stutter. It's obviously not. But too on. heavy to carry, I assume. That's why I had to find the lighter model. In Amaral's office. So... Are we carrying on... It wants me to go up there. Oh, what if I missed over there? Is that something I've missed, or...? There's something I've missed there. I'll go back to that in a second. I just want to see... I knew I couldn't leave the offices before locating Dr. Amaral. 
Okay. That's fine. I was just testing to see if there, because it said there was more stuff that way. Uh, so I've missed one thing on the ground floor and then I can go up and get the rest of the stuff on the top floor and then I should probably be stopping in a minute, but I kind of want to just finish this section now that we're almost through it, you know? Oh, there's nothing here. Runner's mug. Check out... Wait, that was a ripple? Oh no, that must have been the in intel, was it? Intel. So how are we actually doing on the collectibles? So these are the ones that are downstairs. So there's one, two, three, four, five things which are potentially upstairs. Then. Although some of it wasn't upstairs. It looked like it was out that way. But there was some up here. Did I go in that one? Did I not? I thought I looked at this one. From Martin Hatch to Mon Monarch Security Leads. Uh, people, it appears we have been overtaken by events and we have had to adjust our plans accordingly. As you are no doubt aware, now we, ha uh, we now have Jack Joyce in custody and he gave him, well, he gave himself up by the day. As Mr. Serene has a personal interest in Joyce and the information he might have, he will be interrogating him on the detention center of the island. Uh, unfortunately, this means that Serene will not be there for the speech he was scheduled to give at the gala event tonight, so I will have to stand in for him. I have some new security uh, requirements pertaining to that, but I will discuss those with specific individuals in person. Furthermore, be aware that in addition to Joyce, we have also have Liam Burke at the detention centre. Despite his long service to Monarch, Burke is now to be considered hostile and has already done quite a bit of damage to us. I shouldn't have to say this, but just to be absolutely clear, any orders given by him should be ignored. Please ensure that Joyce is ready for Mr. Serene. Also, please bear in mind that Joyce is prone on active and extremely dangerous. He has given himself up voluntarily, so it's entirely possible he doesn't intend to cause trouble. But let's make sure we're prepared if he does. We don't know his motivations, and I would not put it past him to you surrender as a means to exact a hidden agenda. <laughs> he already knows me so well. <laughs> well stood. Right, so that's the office I want. So that's where I want to go last. Uh, from Martin to team leaders, the purpose of the gala. Greetings, it's been brought to my attention that there is some confusion about the reason for the upcoming evening at the gala. I was getting distracted by that lady, kind of groaning in my ear. Um, I understand that some feel such a celebration is frivolous, even misguided in the aftermath of last night's events at Rivport University and now the now present deadly advancing fracture in time. These concerns are understandable, but they are missing the bigger picture. Monarch Solutions is now entering a phase in which its true purpose will be fulfilled. We have finally arrived at the moment for which we have spent years preparing. The purpose of this event is twofold. First of all, for those selected to be part of the lifeboat project as a scientist, technician, support personnel, or in some other role, it will be important to see and hear Paul Serene. Continued confidence in the survival program is vital for the continued survival of Monarch, and ultimately the human race itself. This is particularly important given recent events. We need to present a desirable and reassuring counterpoint to the sacrifices we've had to make. Naturally, not everybody at the party will be among the chosen few, so a certain degree of informational hygiene will be required. I trust you will ensure that these those reporting to you are informed precisely to the degree necessary. Secondly, for all of our autonomy and vast resources, Monarch is not functionally independent from the rest of society. In order for our plans to succeed, we will need the support and cooperation of the authorities and numerous <laughs> she is really distracting <laughs> business partners even though they don't know um is that an old gods of asgard song uh anyway uh demonstration of power and confidance as well as certain judicious i've lost where i was our pr blitz has been working well but in order to maintain momentum we must maintain an amicable relationship with reports leadership our entire approach is based on the idea of monarchs stepping in to assist the authorities and being welcomed to by citizens and city administrators alike should the latter suddenly declare monarchs help unwanted or unsanctioned our entire strategy could collapse in just a few hours that would be disastrous for our plans in conclusion this is a tremendously important event for the future of monarch solutions and for the future itself 
see so he's definitely still playing like he's playing normal but obviously we know he's not um okay so there's a couple things out there but i can't interact with those so the other intel must be in here though is it that's Emma's office there's lots of stuff in here cfr briefing it's no exaggeration to say that the chronon field regulator or the cfr is at the heart of all the monarch's technological advances it has taken on a somewhat mythical quality given its origins and the vital role it plays in the lifeboat project but in actuality the cfr's applications are very practical that's not to say the cfr hasn't had a course altering impact on the work monarch solutions does it's been hugely influential in the development of both the starter proofing technology that allows us to shield larger areas uh, from the effect of zero state enabling time to keep flowing within them even as it stops elsewhere as well as a smaller personalized application of the same technology the portable chronon harnesses that allow our soldiers and technicians to operate freely uh we think of dr henry kim as the father of all this technology and a de deservedly so but for all of his brilliance it was his decision to it was his dedication to uncovering the secrets of the cfr that allowed him to make his breakthroughs despite dr kim's hard work the cfr's functionality is still not fully understood and we have not been able to replicate the device so dr kim didn't create the device it kind of looked a bit like the countermeasure i wonder if they stole the countermeasure and have somehow adapted it to be a cfr instead but because it's they're twisting its purpose it because if it's a countermeasure it would prevent the stutters and stuff so it kind of makes sense that they'd be related in some way having more than one of them would obviously be greatly advantageous to us but we find ourselves in a precarious position where in order to fully investigate it we would have to take it apart given its immense power such an undertaking would pose obvious risks perhaps even more importantly there's no guarantee that we'd be able to put it back together again given that it's vital to the implementation of the lifeboat protocol it's our policy to leave it intact we do know however that the cfr can not only store an immense amount of chronon particles it can also tap into the mayor joyce field and with great precision manipulate it it's this unique ability that our own chronon technology replicates albeit at far less control and efficiency it's also what makes the lifeboat protocol a reality by itself our stutter proofing technology is powerful and reliable but its rate of chronon particle consumption is high and it increases at an alarming rate as we widen the volume of space the stutter proofing covers this would on the face of it all make stutter proofing a very temporary solution indeed one that would perhaps buy us some subjective weeks once we enter permanent zero state but which would ultimately only delay the inevitable however the cfr changes all of that when the permanent stutter proofing installed on the lifeboat indeed the very stutter proofing that makes the lifeboat the lifeboat in the first place is directed by the cfr the system becomes vastly more efficient our chronon particle can some consumption is reduced to around one percent of what it would otherwise be given that chronon particles are hard to source even at the ground zero installation and our stockpiles are decidedly limited this means that the cfr makes the difference between lifeboat being temporary stopgap solution on a very long term oh that was the intel nice okay that's good Crying on disrupted wave function subjects aka shifters slide one much of what we know about the shifters is theoretical based on observations made by dr uh, mrs screen and the limited experimentation they've been able to conduct on the one only subject we have managed to capture they do not seem to have a stable physical presence rather the data that we are gathering appears to be fragmented and contradictory as if there were countless versions of the subject occupying the same space our current theory is that they somehow exist in a persistent state of quantum super, uh, superposition or to put it another way with reference to the famous schrodinger's cat thought experiment the cat is both alive and dead at the same time all mechanics and implications of this uh, exceed our current understanding but on a practical level it seems to make them highly resistant to injury it appears that even if the shifter encounters deadly force it may kill one of its sub aspects but because it exists as multiple locations it's of itself including iterations that were not killed by the force it doesn't stop current theory suggests that the only way to stop a shifter is to cause its wave function to collapse from the superposition into sing to a single eigen eigenstate i'm not sure how you pronounce that uh in practical terms the shifter must be affected with deadly force enough times for it to run out of healthy versions of itself as such direct confrontation with the shifter should be a last resort slide two 
Contact with a shifter is extremely dangerous. We know that they are essentially uh, mobile repositories of vast amounts of chronin particles and that they can only exist in a zero state, an area that has been depleted of chronin particles, typically by a fault in the mayor Joyce field that encompasses the universe. Colloquially, we refer to them to these as stutters in time. We also know that shifters are hostile to any source of chronon particles other than themselves within stutters, so any chronon active individual within a stutter may find themselves targeted by shifters. Fabulous, because we are one of those. It appears that movement in stutters, by which we mean the very movement of particles within space and time in which time flows, not merely the movement of an individual, disturbs them and they respond with considerable aggression. As discussed previously, shifters are extremely resistant to damage. They are also quite physically formidable, but their biggest threat is the distortion field around them. It's exactly, oh, its exact nature is unknown, but we know that it warps the properties of the space surrounding them, exerting great physical stress and unpredictable forces on its surroundings. Again, in practical terms, close proximity to a shifter may be fatal, even if it's no actual physical contact takes place. The stutterproofing technology Monarch Solutions has advanced, oops, offers solid protection against shifters. Time flows normally within the stutterproofed area, so shifters simply cannot exist within them. Therefore, as long as stutterproofing remains active, shifters are not a problem. However, stutterproofing of large outside areas is not feasible given our chronon particle budget. So we have developed other technology to defend against shifters, the chronon dampeners. The chronon dampener works by now annihilating free floating chronon particles with in a specified area. As shifter forms are hyper saturated with chronon particles, they cannot enter an area in which the chronon damper is active. So that's why they've developed those. Therefore, our operatives in the field have a solid portable defense against the shifters. Our own technology is shielded against the dampener's effects, so activities in stutters undertaken by our strikers and other operatives are not hindered however as an unfortunate side effect the dampeners have a crippling effect on individuals who are chrono active without the aid of technology i have noticed <laughs> accordingly should mr serene be present you should always make him aware of your intentions before activating a dampener you may rest assured that the dampener is not powerful enough to do actual physical harm to mr serene whose system constantly produces new chrono particles to replace the ones that are lost but as the dampener's effects are unpleasant and enervating such an encounter is likely to lead an awkward conversation about future career prospects. So, would that not be a way of kind of helping him though? Because uh, he wouldn't have to like worry about the stuff progressing, his sickness, if the chronon things were dampened. Um, so, uh, Right of acceleration, we can hypothesize that might as have as little as 24 hours until we reach the end of time, or the point at which time stops. Really? Is it going to be that quick? Do you not know why the original projection was wrong, and why that data, which we do consider reliable, coming as it does from Mr. Serene, seems to entirely contradict our current findings? Regardless, the main issue seems clear. In order to achieve Monarch Solutions, all well, the life wave protocol should be active. ASAP. The Amaral had tried to warn Paul. The end of time was approaching quickly. Less than 24 hours away. Yeah. Mr. Serene believed it would take years to run its course. Admittedly, he was wrong. I will look at that later. We've heard those conversations. So I literally the think the only thing I missed was that bloody... Hello. Oh. Wait, it's saying I did get it? I'm sure that said I missed that. What is it? Okay, apparently I got it. I don't. I swear that that was saying I missed it. That makes no sense. I only need one more intel to unlock another diary. Well, we got everything. All right, I don't have to redo it. <laughs> I'm so confused. I'm gonna have to look back at that in the editor. I'm that sure I missed like that. What Beth wanted. Oh shit. We knew that, but she's gonna not be at the party in a minute. Stutter won't last. I better find a way out of here and get to the party. Okay, so let's quickly just do this, and then once we get to the end of this act, um, quite expensive piece of tech you stole. Mm -hmm. Bill me. <laughs> I knew Beth's cover wouldn't last long. Had to get it to her at the party before it was too late. Yes. 
because we can then have her helping us out when there's stuff and things. So is this into the party? Or... Ooh. Okay, that is into the party. So that's just gone straight into it. We're now in... Okay, cool. Right, so... That means I'm actually going to leave us here because we've done the research facility then as one part and then we can do this bit as another one. How many collectibles are there? There's not that many in this one, so it's probably a shorter part. Um, the other intel is in here though. Mm -hmm. um, so that was a really cool section. I really liked that research facility. There was a lot of information got thrown at you in that. So Hatch is definitely confirmed as working against Serene for some reason, wanting to disrupt Monarch. I'm not quite sure what his angle is on that because like, it makes me, knowing that he's basically missed a door from Alan Wake, but obviously a different IP version. Um, <laughs> like I, I'm aware that he's more than he seems. Um, but I'm not sure what his role is going to be in all of this going on at the moment with the time fracture and end of time coming. Because it doesn't seem like he's particularly fond of Jack Joyce, so it doesn't seem like he is going to be trying to help us. So I, I just don't know what to make about him yet. Um, Especially where he's trying to, so he's obviously, he's trying to stop Serene because he took out Kim, Dr. Kim. He's just set up someone to shoot at him on the stage in order to disrupt the speech and throw Monarch into chaos. He's trying to kill Dr. Amaral um, so that she can't cure Serene, which would then in theory mean that he dies. But if he's going to die within, what did it say? He thinks that his sickness would run its course in about six hours from that that point. And if she's right and the end of time is less than 24 hours away, what's the purpose of taking out Serene anyway? Is it to stop the lifeboat protocol? Is it something else? Like, there's, I'm very curious what his angle is at the moment on that. I honestly don't understand how I got that ripple. I'm sure that it said that I'd missed that. Didn't it? I don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand. I'm not complaining, but I don't understand. I'm gonna have to watch that back. I think it's like I can't even see, see what it is at the moment. Like it won't let me look at it to oops. Um see what it was that I found that was the ripple. I'm tempted to Google it, but I don't wanna spoil something for myself accidentally but I kind of want to know what the heck it was I found. <laughs> I'm confused. Why do some of these pulse and others not? Or do they all pulse? No, they don't. Is it because they're computers? Is it all the computer ones that... No, that's an image. I don't know. So definitely some of them that don't. Anyway, um, yeah, so this is very cool. So on the next one, we're going to go into the actual gala, which seemed from walking through that door like it's still actually in a stutter. It was interesting that that just went straight into it because I think in the, the last two acts, there's always been a bit of an inter, like a more of a segue than that of just walking through the door and being there. Um, so yeah, curious about that. But um, I wonder what we're gonna do if Beth's at the party and she's currently stuck in a stutter, are we going to put the vest thing on her and get her out? And then, I mean, he could unfreeze certain people because he unfroze Will, but then he couldn't unfreeze Amy. And I don't actually still know why he couldn't unfreeze her. So that's actually also an interesting point of why could he unfreeze Will, but he couldn't unfreeze Amy? What would be the significance of that? It's got to be something to do with the prone on exposure or something maybe because will was involved in ground zero like he had a little bit of exposure but not the same because his experiment didn't fail like it wasn't flawed like serene's was which was what made them chrono enhanced but maybe him playing around with time made him a little bit different i don't know i don't think they've explained that yet anyway 
I'm going to leave this here for now. So on the next one, we will go to the gala. We'll try to snatch Dr. Amaral and see if we can foil Hatch's attempt to assassinate, assassinate her. The other thing is, oh no, that wouldn't work. I was going to say the other alternative is if there's a time machine here because they've taken the call from the university, we could use that to go. No, that doesn't make sense, actually. What they were saying about the fact that that call was activated yesterday, so it could only go back in time to the university point. That doesn't make sense because otherwise, how did Serene end up 17 years in the past? Because I was assuming he went back in 17 years in the past because of Will's machine being then. But even if he'd gone back one day in the past, he couldn't have then gone to Will's machine and used that to go back in the past 17 years. So... That doesn't make sense. I need to think about this. <laughs> I need to puzzle this out. How did he end up 17 years in the past without using Will's machine if they're saying this machine would only go back the day before? Hmm. I mean, it might be that he went into the future and then in the future he found Will's machine and then went back to 1999 because that's when it, it was activated or made, created, finished, whatever. If it, if that's the thing, it hadn't been activated though. He didn't activate it when he found it, did he? He activated it in... Or maybe he did. Has, has Ground Zero been active since 1999? Possibly. Anyway, I'm going to leave this here. I'm going to go and think about all these things and maybe look back at a few clips to try and puzzle some stuff out. And then um, we'll figure out what we're doing at the gala and see what we come up with. <laughs> if we can kidnap. Let's try and kidnap somebody. <laughs> I'll see you guys then.